Yo, what's going on guys? This is Tate Beer and I'm back with a brand new video. Today guys, we're going to be talking about the armor update coming to season 20. If you enjoy, like, comment, subscribe. Without further ado, let's jump straight into this. A well-known leaker, El Salvador, came out last night and had said about an armor update coming to season 20 and the fact that all armor is going to be getting removed from ground loot. Now this is a massive change. Now there is another couple of points which I'm going to touch on. I want to get straight into the ground loot situation. So essentially what we're looking at is there will no longer be armor on the floor. So whether that's white, blue purple you will not be able to find it you will start with a white armor and you will need to level up that armor from what i'm understanding okay this is obviously we're all guessing at the moment we don't know fully until respawn come out and say what the situation is but from what we can understand from this leak is that we are not going to be seeing any more armor on the floor which in my mindset i don't think it's actually a bad idea i actually quite like the mindset of it i obviously understand there will be people that will be doubting it and thinking oh god this is the worst change they could have ever done but think about it there's many situations where for example you land in a contest and you have a 3v3 situation and the only reason you lose is because that team managed to get a purple and a blue and a blue it would make fairer fights from a beginning game and it also would mean teams have to work to actually build up their armor unless they obviously they craft it providing it does stay in crafter so for example say a team decides to play position they can't just sit in position and not shoot anyone they'll be stuck with a white in end game so therefore they have to actually get involved in shooting to try and level up that armor it's then going to make tactical fighting a little bit more more interesting when you want to pop shots and things like that so i'm actually very interested in this change i actually think it's very cool i would quite like to see how it plays out now don't get me wrong i know for a fact that means some legends are going to be buffed and nerfed in a way so for example if we say loba loba is obviously going to be suffering in the fact that she can no longer loot armor but then again you could also say you can focus on picking up attachments which will be obviously more helpful for the team because you need the good attachments to actually win fights obviously certain legends are going to probably end up looking like they're getting a buff but for example someone like lifeline actually she might make this a more useful legend i know there's been talks of future changes to her but for example if she still has a care package next season she could be massive in the fact that she can cool down a care package and actually level up your armor so i'm excited to see what this change will look like i don't really know what to expect but i kind of like the idea of it. now don't get me wrong we're now going to touch on the other two points which are a little bit more confusing so talking about death boxes if for example you have a level two armor and you swap into a level three 75 hp is going to be healed while 25 hp will be temporary now that's the bit that's really confused me when i've been reading this because in my mindset it sounded like well, okay so for example if i pick up a blue and then i um i'm running a blue sorry and i then kill somebody and i swap to their purple i will have to heal that remainder up now i can't tell whether that is actually the basis or you will only have that purple for a little bit and then it is going to end up being back to a blue it hasn't really made much sense like i say we're all playing a bit of a guessing game in my my mindset it would make sense for example if i looted a box i'd say with a blue and then i picked up a purple i still had a blue es essentially but then i needed to heal it up to a purple that would make very much sense in my mindset then you know it's almost making it more worthwhile people still have to keep fighting if they want to get that purple or red either and the last thing they talk about as well is the legend perk which i haven't really fully understood yet legend perks are a little bit all over the place someone mentioned actually about gold armor in the comments and said oh does this mean gold armor is not going to be worthwhile anymore but someone turned around and said actually this could end up being a legend perk so we could end up seeing legend perks for you to be able to actually level up to a gold armor there's a lot of things that could be changed here a lot of guessing games at the moment but overall we know that there is going to be a change coming to the armors and the fact that the matter is the main one is that it's going to be no longer on the ground what do you think do you think this is a good change do you think this is an l do you think this is a w let me know in the comments down below if you have enjoyed the video though please like comment subscribe really excited to see what this kind of delves into i'm actually excited to see a little bit of a change towards the actual play style and the game but i know a lot of people are going to be turning around saying this is a really shit idea but let's see what happens we don't fully know don't be beaten up on the game going this is a negative this is a positive just yet just have a little open mind and discuss it but without further ado i'm gonna shut the fuck up i'll see you all next video